Good morning, we're so happy that you're here. We vlog every day, so if you like this video, come on back tomorrow. We are running a couple of errands before heading to Animal Kingdom today, which is awesome because we have not been there since our staycation, since July. Um, and that was really our first time post park open. Um, the hours at Animal Kingdom are just tough because it closes at six and we work during the week and we were finally just like this weekend we're prioritizing it so that's exciting but we got gas peter's printing something for a sleep study tonight we're gonna run to target and maybe the mall before we go um but it's only 10 30 so that's great to start the day off early and that's it i'm just hanging out in the car while peter goes into all the places Beautiful. Super easy. Just print my documents from my sleep study because we don't have a printer. Quick and painless, but they did print on like semi glossy paper. So I'll have to make sure I don't use like a fancy pen when filling those out. I think we're, besides that pumpkin. <laughs> We're staying on our list. Well, this one. So these are the only two things. Oh, and this. Oh, yeah. But we needed that. Yeah, we needed that. So we kind of did do a good job sticking to... Kind of. Kind of. I think we get a C+. I, um, I think we get a B. Okay. Solid B. <laughs> we're not getting better because one, they didn't have the kind I wanted. And two, we realized if we're going out after this, like to the mall or to, to Magic King or Animal Kingdom... We that can't. We can't We're leave the butter in a Florida there. car. <laughs> if this was Chicago in January, it'd be a different story. This is Soaks. gonna be fun. Eve's gonna hate that. I know she is, but I really need this baby to flip. It's not closed this time. At least not that we think. I'm trying to kind of convince Sarah to go out to late lunch, early dinner here, I think. Oh, That's actually just lunch. It's 11.54. <laughs> It's not even noon yet. <laughs> it just feels like 7 p.m. We have Animal Kingdom Park Pass, but it's just not the most friendly park. And it's hot out. And we're going to Janie and Jack. All right, we got lost, so we're going to go hang out in Pottery Barn before we try to find a map. Um, but we definitely, 100%, we acted like we were going to the Orland Mall, south side of Chicago oh, one. Oh, snap. There's a van store, which Sarah's getting two pairs of vans as a push presents. Yeah, that's what I said. I'm very practical. I'm so excited because we might walk out of here with two million pairs of shoes for you. <laughs> Alright, so bittersweet news. They actually don't have either of the styles yeah. she wants in stock. But she's going to try them on the same style shoe and then we may order them here to get free two-day shipping. Yeah. Kind of a little bit of a bummer. Yeah. Is they didn't have them in, in the store and then we went to go order them online. The second pair. The second pair the was pair. out of stock as well. So we've got one pair order that will be here in two days. Yes. Probably which, Wednesday. Yeah, which was nice because doing it in store, you got free two-day shipping. And we'll also have to keep an eye out for the other ones. Yeah. To make sure they come back in stock. Maybe you can sign up for like a notification. And finally, we have arrived. The whole reason why we came here. <laughs> really? Wait, look at that cute, cute outfit. Right, here's where we've settled, I think. Is this for a come home from the hospital outfit? It's comfy but sweet. Dressing to meet Eve for the first time with this little cute hat. <laughs> Should we get on these fancy shoes? Ooh, I love them. Um, Sarah? Guys. <laughs> we may have found half, most of his Christmas outfit. <laughs> trouble. <laughs> like, surreal. Awesome. Awesome trouble. <laughs> I don't know where today is gone. <laughs> I think it all started because we woke up on the couch. Yeah. <laughs> but, like, so we're not going to Animal Kingdom because Peter has to go to the doctor's office at 6.30. Yeah. So we decided to get dinner. At two o'clock. And Sarah wanted pasta. Son, so we're getting Maggiano's. Maggiano's is like, okay, so it's a chain, but the original Maggiano's is where we had our wedding in Chicago. And it's very much so like a classic holiday season Ryan family dinner, but it's become just like one of our places so so even though we're in Torres central here at, at i drive icon center it's not look at how deserted this is yeah even though my feels like a very
very tourist restaurant to us, it's not. Yeah, I meant to say that it's not touristy to us, even though it's touristy to a lot of people. And I don't know if it's open right now. It is 225. It says on my phone it is. Right, but it might be under different hours because of COVID. We'll find out soon. Well, if there's anything that's making me feel like I'm back in Chicago, is looking at a Maggiano's menu in a Maggiano's. It says, got two amazing skills in life, amongst all, but the two most important are the ability to make butter, perfectly mixed butter popcorn at the movie theaters, mm -hmm. and to make perfectly mixed Parmesan olive oil. I might ask for some pepper, because I typically yeah. do like some pep salt and pepper in there. Um, but I mean... The vegan's out the window today. Mm -hmm. We're doing it, you know? Yeah. We just want it. One more scoop. Here is the menu. I think we have the Taylor Street baked ziti at our wedding. The four cheese ravioli. Yeah, that was what we had at our wedding. And they have things other than pastas as well. I know we got sausage and peppers at our wedding. Mozzarella marinara. It was good. We barely ate at our wedding though. I also think, I think we got the Maggiano salad. And I think we had chicken parmesan too. Job, lots, lots of crowd pleasers. We got our pepper, but we also got appetizers that Peter ordered while I was in the bathroom, so I had no idea. Got calamari and fried mozzarella. <laughs> that should feed us for the whole day. Yeah, we're still getting pasta. Peter got Mediterranean pasta. Which we realized may be vegan. Yes. My <laughs> <laughs> this is what I would get every single time. Chicken, spinach, manicotti, and Alfredo sauce. Oh my god. Prayers for your stomach. <laughs> it's gonna be worth it. As if we didn't eat enough. Jeez. We actually. Not very things. We actually have a whole bag of leftovers we over there. We were both full before our entrees. You were right. And then I decided to get a piece of cake. And a cup of joe. You gotta do that when you're eating at Italian restaurants. You can have a. I have a black coffee with my dessert. Hey kid, how you feeling? Full? Full as heck. Still gotta edit the vlog, right? Yeah. We wanna show in more detail? Here, I'll hand you the camera. Evie. Hi, we're home. What's he got over there? Peter's gonna have a ton of fun. Cacti. Putting things together. Also my exercise ball. He's gonna hate this, but I'm gonna love it. I've always wanted one. So here is James's coming home outfit in more detail. We want it to be super nice, but super cozy. I think this is the perfect find. And we also got this cozy, cozy hat. And then this is an outfit for some sort of Christmas celebration. Who knows if it'll be like while we're at Wilderness Lodge or like actual Christmas Eve or Christmas Day but pretty stinking cute, along with this sweater, which you can also have for like, say Joseph's Day, or Valentine's Day, or just any festive day. As expected, Evie hates it. We've been hanging out, Sarah's been editing. She just finished a vlog, it's going up late, but we had a great day. Yeah. Time for me to go get, <laughs> Jessica Day is crying on the TV. Because the puppy's so small, it fits in a teacup. I have to go pick up my at-home sleep study stuff, and my belly hurts from the Magianos. Does it? Look at this clean pre box. It took all five minutes. Just dropped off my form. They showed me the machine. I'll show it to you when I get home, but I feel fancy. Alrighty. Excuse me. Peter is home now. It's actually super, super fast. Hopefully the video has more information for him than that because he was like in and out um but if you do not like seeing medical things i'll put the time right here um to skip ahead we're going to show how the at-home sleep study looks like the gear that he has to wear tonight when he's going to bed um and i know that's not everybody's cup of tea unfortunately they did confirm that if this has any sleep apnea figured out or signs um, from this at home that they're going to request and then the insurance should then approve an in-lab one which is a bummer like it's the right way to do it and a good way to set up the machine for what they would send me a CPAP machine then um, I just really wanted to get all of this figured out with 
before James got here, but if if bureaucratic health system things are like they have been with the past couple months, I don't know when I'm going to get the results back from this. So let's just say that if that's even a week, it'll probably take at least another four weeks at best for them to schedule me in for an in-lab, which that will be around, that'll probably be just at or after James's birth. So Sarah, I mean, we have to get it done still to be safe and healthy. So Sarah will be having her first night alone with James earlier than we probably expected, but she's a kick, kick butt rock star, so she'll yeah, be, be right. she'll be good. All right, so here's the device, pretty straightforward. One little box with a, a, one power button, power on and power off, and it's got three inputs, one, two, and three. That one's unhooked up because it is to an oxygen tube that goes around my nose, and so they wanted it to be sanitary, but I've already opened it. This strap goes around my chest, and it's cool because this here, this little lever, is where the strap attaches to, and it measures my chest movement, about like me like breathing in or out. There's a blood oxygen to go on my finger. So Peter put it on to share how it looks. So it's simple. Battery pack that reads all the sensors here. One button on, one button off. Three little lights that flash green and then dim after 10 minutes if all three sensors are working. Got a blood oxygen. Fancy, that's like what I had when I was monitored. This, this is the cool um, gauge that like moves as I breathe in and out to like read my chest movement. That's fancy. And then in this open one, this was the only one not attached because this is was sterile when I got it, but I took it out of the package. Goes up the nose, around the ears, and that's gonna actually read my breathing. Yeah. So between blood oxygen, breathing rate, and chest movement rate, they'll that'll like collect all the data all throughout the night and see if there was any evidence of apnea or where I stopped breathing. Or any what is it, like fifty two different things I could uh, figure out? Yeah. Like, yeah. Read? Okay, and if any of them happen which I'm hopeful that they will, because I know they will. Yeah. Um, I'll have to go in for an in-lab one. Yeah. We went down a new girl rabbit hole. I mean, I guess we just put it on and we never turned it off. But did you mention what we're going to watch? No. We are going to watch the new Enola Holmes movie, which has one of my favorite actresses ever in it, Helena Bonham Carter. She's, she's my girl. Um, so we're going to watch that. And we're both pretty sleepy already, so I don't think... We gotta get started so we can finish it. Right. <laughs> Anola Holmes, huge two thumbs up. Yes. It's not what I expected at no. all. No. But I, that's my favorite kind of movie. Yeah. It was super good. Yeah. But I'm gonna. I want to watch it again and like. Look at all the stuff. Yeah. Do you like my side pony? It's kind of like a mystery. So like now that we know some of the little twists and turns, it would be fun to watch again. Yeah. Plus like just the theatricality of it, like how like it was such breaking the fourth wall kind of thing was fun to to watch and to go mm -hmm. back and look at all the little all the cues. Different styles and costumes and funness. But I gotta go do the best that you had. <laughs> go to sleep. Hook myself up to all these weird gizmos and then go to sleep. Hopefully this helps. All right, all right, today, September 27th, Sunday, just a few more days left in September and then it's the month my son is born. The 27th is by Anonymous. If the words you spoke appeared on your skin, would you still be beautiful? Ooh. I like that. Trick or treat, give me dole. <laughs> um, Trick or treat, sneaky sneak. I'm very tired and I hope I sleep well with this gizmos attached to me. Yeah, what are we gonna do tomorrow? Um. Wait, what did you call this week? Operation. Operation Race to the Finish Line. Yeah. Cause because we don't know, like, he could, like, literally, you could go into labor and not be outrageous soon. Uh -huh. So, like, we need to make sure, like, the car is ready, the room's ready, the things are sanitized, that we're, like, we have everything and we're good. Yeah. We just need to be ready. We just need to, like, tie up loose ends. Yeah, so I think that's what we're going to be doing a lot of this week. Plus, trying to sneak some parks in there. Now that they've extended park hours, but, like, I don't know, I have to look, I don't know if that's during the week. I don't know. So I we'll think see. things are always changing these days. Too much. <laughs> Too much. It is good to, it's be, good to be home. home. 
We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.